Hi everyone, welcome to day 10 of the Lifestyle Change and video number 9. So today, after taking a rest from cardio yesterday, I did my lap um, laps at the baseball diamond. And I do the interval, so I walk two laps and run. Well, I'm proud to announce that today I did 12 laps. So my record was 8 on Thursday, and so my goal today was 9. And when I got to lap five today, I was like, "Whoa, I took I took yesterday off. I don't feel like doing nine. Maybe I'll just do eight. Um, but by the time I got to my eighth lap of running, I uh, I had this all of a sudden this urge to just uh, keep going, doing my intervals and stuff, finishing the rest of the hour by walking. So I uh, I did twelve, and I was gonna do thirteen, but I thought, you know. I'm going to save that for tomorrow, see how many I can do tomorrow. Um, so I'm really proud of that. Then I, the mini challenge today was two minutes of mummy kicks. I've never done those before. So I there was a link provided on YouTube. So I looked at the video and I thought, oh, that looks easy. But I keep forgetting I have no rhythm at all for when it comes to dancing. So it was a little difficult, but um, and I'm hoping I did it right. By the end of the two minutes, I was... Um, sweating and uh, breathing hard so that's good and of course I'm going to be doing my strength training um, I finished my uh, abdominal crunches already and my step or push-ups and I'll be doing arm curls here in a few minutes and uh, I'm thinking I might do some more cardio by boxing because I have a belly fitness boxer the tiny blow up and put water or sand on the bottom so um yeah it's going good. I finally took my measurements today. I should have took them a while ago, but I didn't have the measuring tape. And my measurements are higher than what I thought they would be. So that just means that I have more of a goal to hit. It's not going to be something that I see and say, oh, well, why even bother? I have so much to go. But no, it, it's going to add to my goal. So I, I am getting used to um, eating healthy. I find this kind of funny. I find red grapes to be sweet now. Like, really, really sweet. I find them to be too sweet. And before you know, I used to drink slushies or slurpees, whatever you want to call them, um, all the time and never found them too sweet at all. And now I find red grapes really sweet. So I, I find that kind of funny. I also had, uh, for the first time today, a low fat dessert, uh, skinny cow. Uh, vanilla sandwich ice cream or <laughs> vanilla ice cream sandwich and um, it, it was good but kind of loves the aftertaste and then I found out that you shouldn't well some people don't recommend eating the low fat diet kind of stuff um, because there's so much chemicals in them so I'll probably just you know finish off that box sometime not like in one sitting or one day but you know like whenever I get a craving um, maybe I'll do eat one once every three or four days or something like that just for a change. Um, once it's finished, I probably won't buy any more of the diet low-fat products like that. Because, you know, um, I don't want to put a bunch of chemicals back into my body after I detox. So, yeah, other than that, things are going good. And I'm hoping all my other friends on YouTube who are trying to change their life, I hope they're having... Um, a good last couple days and um, I thank everyone for the support I thank you all for the subscriptions and watching my videos um, my mom said to me today what is your goal like you should get under 200 pounds and then maintain but the, my goal is um, I want to get under 200 pounds by the beginning of September that's my first goal and then after that is I know it's going to take Lots of hard work. I'm not expecting it to be done overnight, but I want to get down to 145 because the lowest weight my mom has been in her adult life was 148 um, just before she had my sister. And um, I want to be able to get below that. And uh, so that's my goal. And I can't even remember the last time I was 148. I was probably maybe 15 because. I was average weight, I was skinny when I was little, and then I got average weight when I hit 10, but then when I hit 
14. The weight just piled on, and I went to a uh, natural path, pathy doctor, whatever you want to call them, um, and he figured that my hormones were really out of whack. So he did some testing, and um, sure enough, I guess during the beginning of my period, one of my hormones just goes right wacky, like way more than it should, and um, that probably uh, was a factor to some of the weight gain, but also, I, as a teenager, I never counted calories or watched for the ache, because you're a teenager, right? You have, but how many teenagers do that, except for the ones that are bulimic or anorexic? Or, you know, there actually is some teenagers, I bet, that, you know, are very healthy like that, but the majority of us didn't count calories. We thought, you know, we could just eat whatever we want, do whatever we want. We're young, we're strong, and whatever, so... Um, I never watched what I ate then, and then when I started working, um, you know, I never really had the time to make lunches or anything, so I would just go to fast food, or go to the Chinese food restaurant, or grab whatever is quick, and then when I was eating things I thought were healthy, it turns out they weren't healthy. Um, I have a turkey in the oven, and I can hear the dripping spall, sorry, that's totally unrelated, but anyways yeah and I just kept eating and I was emotional eating too because I had feelings of worthlessness um, that I, I I don't want to talk about only like the specific reasons why I felt worthless because you know um, it's it it's not fair to the people involved too because it's their life as well but um, I just had feelings of worthlessness um, as a kid that I was never good enough and bef when I was younger the way I tried to be good was I used to be on the honor roll all the time in school A's and B's A's and B's A's and B's and then I figured you know even when I was doing that I wasn't getting what I wanted out of it so I turned to food you know just shove it in feels good get that feeling of you're doing something you're feeling something you know even though it's induced by food, at least you're feeling happy. And um, when I'm running these days, all those thoughts and all those feelings come up and I work through them. So when I'm exercising, it gives me time to focus on myself and on things that bother me. And I now have like a new perspective on things that's helping me a lot. And... Um, you know, I really appreciate that. I'm hoping this will be a good experience for me for my anxiety and, you know, all my worries and stuff. Um, just working through them and getting fit and getting healthy and um, getting rid of all those old issues that I would just suppress and suppress and suppress. Um, well, you know, I shouldn't say I used to get A's and B's. I'm a first year university student student and um well I was I'm going to second year in the fall but my first semester last fall in fall 2011 I got straight B's and I said to myself when this was around the same time I weighed myself and I found out I was 227 when I didn't think I was I thought to myself you know what I can do better than that so when I was eating healthy I also studied a lot more and the end at the end of my year I found out that that semester I got straight A's and my GPA went straight up and if I can do that four months of good um, schoolwork you know I, I'm the kind of person that usually remembers a lot of things for short term it doesn't go in long term but um, it helps um, I don't need to study a lot. When I study a lot, I forget things, like, because I focus on certain areas too much. So I try not to study a lot, but I study a bit. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was proud when I got my results back from all my classes. I took four classes, and I got straight A's. And if I can do that in four months, I can do anything. If I just push myself... If I just say you're worth it, if I can say you can do it, I'll do it. 
just like they when I didn't want to do more than five laps and I pushed myself and I ended up doing 12 running laps you know um, I gotta remember my mind is stronger than what I think it is and I gotta believe in myself I can do it and I can do this I can be 145 it's not gonna take me four months it's gonna take me longer I know and there's gonna be times when I plateau times when I think that you know nothing's happening I should quit but I'm gonna keep going because this is my life and I deserve it and um, I'm just not gonna give up you know just never so I thank you all for subscribing to me and I hope you're all having a good Saturday if it's Saturday wherever you are I have I miss someone who watches from Australia so happy Sunday um, okay so you guys have a good one and I'll see you tomorrow.